what is up everybody welcome back to the channel you guys in this video i'm going to be simply walking my buddy ethan um out of alabama of all places um shit i don't even know what the hell's in i don't even know where alabama is like what the hell is even out there dude um but he's a young entrepreneur college student freaking crushing it into real estate into real estate wholesaling and really just getting his feet wet and so this is a, a, a an actual buddy of mine a client of mine um that kind of brought me aboard his team to teach him Facebook ads and, and social media marketing. So in this video, I'm going to simply just walk him through and, and we're going to set up a conversion ad. There's a handful of ads that I have a client do first. Um, I'll have them, if they're a local business, a lot of times I'll have them pull out their phone and simply introduce themselves, run a video view ad, a Facebook video view ad, and just introduce themselves, you know, one, two minute simple intro your background your experience your passion why you're so fired up on what you do why you love helping people um and just doing what you do simple intro video and and the whole objective with that is to warm your audience up is to is to run a video view ad capture a custom audience get thousands of people in that local area to see you and then start retargeting them right so we're, we're past that part now so now as we go into lead capture we're going to set up a conversion ad and what he put together is a simple landing page um a lot of my landing pages are are are, are through kartra so if you're if you're new to the online you know business and you're looking to capture leads online um there's a handful of tools that you'll need you know you'll need a landing page software you'll need some type of email automation um and if you're in the business of appointments, you'll need some type of online calendar. So Kartra is the one that I've been using since 2018 um, to really provide those tools and, and allow me to build a business. So there's a 14 day trial. There's a link in the description, profitwithkartra.online. I highly encourage you to, to just simply activate it for 14 days. Try it, compare it to what you're currently doing and, and see if it really helps you build a business online. Um, because conversion ads is all about that. Conversion ads is, is, is simply for for, for businesses that are looking to capture leads, whether that's getting someone to schedule an appointment, whether it's, whether it's getting someone to your website to purchase a product, a physical product, a digital product, um, whatever, a conversion, right? That's a conversion event. So in Facebook, there's that specific objective, conversions, and that's for lead capture. So he's in the business of, of looking for motivated sellers out there in Alabama, local business owner, right? Focused on that local city. Um, in Alabama, I think it's um, oh, I forgot what city it is, but we'll, we'll we'll find out right now. But we're targeting a very Auburn, Auburn actually. So we're targeting a very small city, Auburn, um, looking for motivated sellers. He put together a simple landing page. He put together an actual PDF um, to 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 entice people, to get people interested, to get people to raise their hand and say, "Hey, man, I like that. I I'll, I'll put my name and email. Send me a copy." Right? Interested people that are that are that are interested in that topic. That's what you guys want to do, man. Get your hands on some type of 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 digital PDF, some type of online training video. You want to when you're running ads, you want to be able to capture leads in a way where you're 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 able to do it at a very inexpensive cost so your so your 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 cost per lead is is low and you want to get people into your world by giving them something of value up up front for free right so you always want to lead with some type of freebie a free download a free coupon a free discount a free pdf a free training video whatever lead people into your funnel, get people into your world by offering something of value for free. And then where you're maximizing profits is on the back end. So after they jump into your world, that's why email automation is so important. You must be nurturing the leads that are coming in through your Facebook advertising, you must be nurturing that list through list through some type of email automation. Okay. And again, if you're in the business of appointments, then you'll need some type of online calendar. And again, Kartra does all that for me. So um, enjoy this one, you guys, if you if, if this is the type of stuff you're into social media marketing, Facebook advertising, building a business online, subscribe. My name is David. I'm out here in San Diego doing all the above, um, building a business online since 2016 and really bringing a lot of value. So if you're into this type of stuff, subscribe, um, smash the bell for notifications and drop me a comment below. Let me know where you guys are coming from and let me know how I can bring value to what you're doing online. All right, guys, so hold tight. I'm going to bring Ethan on the line and we're going to run a Facebook conversions ad. Enjoy this one. Hey, how you doing? What's going on, buddy? 
Hey, hey, how you going? Uh, how you doing? Sorry. I'm good, man. I'm good. Just coming back from, from the beach, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, By the way, yeah, yeah, yeah. So just enjoying the day, freaking um, getting some air, bro. Getting some air. Been been locked in, you know, locked in indoors. Oh, and, yeah. And, yeah, and, um, I feel that. Need to get some air. So I live about, I would say, maybe, maybe 15, 20 minutes away from the beach. So... I bet there in Cali oh, it's really nice. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's a nice day right now. It's a it's a nice day. So just it's wanted still to still light out there. What's that? Is it still kind of sunny out there? Oh yeah, bro, big time, big time. Oh yeah, it's completely night here. So is it? Oh yeah, yeah, nighttime. Yeah. You're a couple hours ahead of me. No, I got I got beautiful daylight right now for another, probably for another 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 couple hours. Yeah, um, yeah, I think that's pretty nice. As we move more into the spring. It doesn't get dark until about eight thirty. Oh wow! Really? Yeah. 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 Wow! I don't actually think it ever is like that here. And miss yeah. the latest, it's like seven. Yeah. And then it's night. Yeah, about eight o'clock, eight thirty. More springtime. Um, wow. But yeah, man, enjoying enjoying it. But again, cost of living, bro. That I mean, shit. That's yeah. what I end up paying for. It's an arm and a leg to live out here, you know. Yeah. No. Yeah, I expect that. Yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, uh, have you looked at any of the videos? Heck yeah, uh, bro, I'm I'm crushing it. I'm going through it, bro. I'm not gonna play with it. I'm, yeah, I was looking at some of them too, and I kind of, I mean, like it seemed like a lot easier than what I expected to like get into yep. ClickBank, and like you're just yep. just getting your affiliate link. Like, I don't really, I mean, I want to understand what it is that he's choosing, what products to promote, but like overall, I don't really like the way that the clicks funnels look at, at all. It, oh like, yeah, I know, I know. In fact, um. What I'm going to do, though, is I am going to actually, I am going to activate a, a, I am going to get it. I am going to get it strictly for, for this, like strictly for, for affiliate marketing with, with him. Um, mm -hmm. But, um, but again, you, you still need some type of email automation, but I think the way he, he teaches is the fact that you're not even building an email list. It's simply running Facebook ads to, to your landing page. And then from there, they go straight to an offer. Yeah, no, yeah, that's that's what it seemed like for he was so, talking about it with that that like a uh, battery incident, and I was like, if if you just need to literally build landing pages, why couldn't I just do that with Kartra? Yeah, you can, you can. So, um, I'm 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 on I'm on the first module still, but I'm 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 halfway through the first module, so oh, okay. I just um. Where do yeah. you go and see the modules? I just went there to the very first page and said, "Get started here," and it seemed like all the videos were a little bit scattered to me. No, um, no, they're all they're all laid out. We'll cover it. We'll cover it after we're done here. Okay. We'll, we'll yeah, yeah. It. We'll take a look at it together. So, what do we got to do? We got to. Are we going to run an ad? Uh, I didn't know. Uh, how, I mean, how it is that we were planning to actually run the ad or do anything after okay. this? Like, I didn't know so, how the lead conversion ads are supposed to go or anything here, like that. Here's what you want to do. Like, share your screen. Let's go to your Facebook mm -hmm. business page. Okay. So then. Um, so then you don't have you don't have an ad then ready, right? I don't have a video or anything like that. I didn't know okay. what it is that okay, like what so, direction it is that I should be going into or anything. Perfect. So then let's let's do that then. Let's let's kind of just mastermind real quick on 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 how you should lay all this out and what to okay what to kind of expect over the next you know few weeks and and what to even budget you know what to even budget yeah um and put aside. But what you want to start doing? Go to your business page. What you want to do, and you want to just get in the habit, like get in the habit, whether you, whether you put out a video, I mean, excuse me, whether you run an ad on it or not. Um, I thought we were going to run a conversions ad right now, but it's okay. Let me just walk you through what, and let me just prep you for it. Because no, yeah, is, I, I just didn't know what important. it is. Yeah, this Sorry. is super important. This is mm -hmm. super important anyways, no matter what. So here's what you want to do. You want to really prepare and really, really um, build the discipline of, of being consistent with a new video on this business page every seven days. Like regardless if you're going to actually run it as an ad, like mm -hmm. you want to at least get in the habit of putting up a new video because really what you want to be doing is you want to be running a new video ad. You want to be running a new video ad because if you run one ad, let's say we run one video ad right now for seven days and, and there's not a, a, a whole bunch of, of, um, of, of leads coming in, you're going to want to run another one right away. You know, you're going to be running them for, 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 let's just say seven days to see, you know, if it, if it, if it's a, if it's a good one or, or not. And so you'll want to run one multiple times. You'll want to run multiple videos throughout the month. So okay. one every week, technically one every week. 
if if possible. But though may, there might be some weeks where you actually run an ad and that ad is is actually producing leads. So you won't have to release that new video right away. You might not have to release that that second video until maybe the third week, for example. Mm -hmm. You know, so but at least you're in the habit because where everybody drops the ball, man. I've I've done this a million times, bro. I've I've spoken to a million businesses on this exact topic since 2016 alone. A million of them, man. Literally, it's it's crazy. It's so many businesses where 99% of people drop the ball is they lack the consistency of that new ad, of that next ad. Whether it's an image or a video, it, it, it doesn't matter. But if, if, if you're already somewhat getting comfortable with video, I want you to keep putting out video. Forget about an image. Like, keep putting out yeah. a video. Mm -hmm. but, no, yeah, but, I'm totally fine with that. I just don't know. Like, yeah, so here's the deal. I should be putting in the video or yeah, so, how long it should be. Yeah, here's the deal. Stuff. I'll explain all that right now. So that's the number one reason why most fail at Facebook advertising is because they just they lack the consistency of dropping new ads. They think they can run one ad and leads are going to come in. It's like, dude, it doesn't work that way. Like you have to put out more ads. You have to test more audiences. You have to mm -hmm. be consistent because two things need to start happening. Facebook has to start creating audiences around everyone who's watching your videos. And then Facebook has to start creating audiences around everyone who's landing on your pages. So yeah. that doesn't happen on the first ad at all, like at all, at all. So the pixel that pixel needs data. And so the data that it's going to be receiving are people who land on the page, but don't opt in. So they see your ad, they see your video. I like, let's scroll down. Let's say this, this video right here. Let's say that's an ad scroll down. Let's mm -hmm. say this is an ad right here. People see your video ad. They click on it. They go to your landing page, but they don't opt in. That's pixel data. Now Facebook yeah. can start reading the type of person who's landing on that page. And then the second type of person, the second P Facebook pixel data um, is when that person, when a different person lands on that page and actually opts in, and then they land on your thank you page. Now that Facebook pixel is getting data of the type of person who's landing on that thank you page. So it takes a few days. It takes seven to 10 days. It, it may take a couple different ads for that Facebook pixel to really start reading the data. So it's not like you're going to run an ad and all of a sudden, you know, a hundred leads are going to come in by tomorrow. Like it doesn't work mm -hmm. that way because where Facebook advertising works is when you're retargeting, when you're retargeting people who have engaged and viewed your video in the past, or when you're retargeting people and, and, and those people landed on your website before, but they just didn't opt in for whatever reason. But now they're seeing ad number four. Now they're seeing ad number mm -hmm. five because you're retargeting them. Right, because you're going to be building custom audiences of those who are watching the video, those who are landing on your landing page but not opting in. Those are the two main main audiences that you'll always want to retarget: are video views and 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 landing page views. Now, the people who actually land on your landing page, opt in, they put their name and email, they end up going to the thank you page. That's an audience that Facebook for sure wants to know. That's why the pixel is on that thank you page. And also mm -hmm. that thank you page is your custom conversion. Also that thank you page is your custom audience. So now Facebook, the data, the pixel is starting to read the type of person who's landing on that thank you page. But what you're going to start doing from, let's just say ad number two and on, once you actually start capturing a lead, you can capture one lead. Once you capture one lead, that thank you page, that pixel was read. Someone landed on that page other than you and I, right? So now that pixel is starting to get data. So what you'll start to do from, let's just say, ad number two and on is the people who land on the thank you page, that'll be an audience that you'll always exclude. So as you set up the ad, you'll exclude that audience. And so, um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm actually, we can walk you, I'm going to walk you through it. We'll walk through a full-blown ad. But we mm -hmm. won't. We just won't complete it because there's no there's no ad to run. But I can at yeah. least walk you through it so you know, and and you'll have this recording. And I have those other recordings too. And I have to show them to you. They're on my YouTube channel. I gotta just go through my YouTube real quick. And and because I didn't title them with your name, which I I totally freaking should have. So my bad. But but I'll I'll shoot them to you ASAP. Oh those okay. Other, yeah, yeah. Those other yeah, videos. You. Yeah. I just want to make sure um, I have them because. Oh for sure. It's for sure. Information for me. For sure. So, so the pixel has to start reading data and, and that mm -hmm. happens after multiple ads. It doesn't happen with the first ad. 
So, yeah. so, so with that being said, here's how you want to start laying this out. You want to start getting in the habit of dropping a new video, uploading a new video on this business page every seven days, regardless okay. if you're going to run an ad on it. Because all that's going to do is train you. All that's going to do is, is sharpen your, your discipline. All that's going to do is get you in a good habit of putting out video, putting out video. And, and, and just so you don't feel overwhelmed and thinking you have to do it every day. No, just do it every seven days. Every seven days, pick a day. Every Saturday at this time, a new video has to go on my page. And, 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 and my real intention is to run an ad on that. But depending on how my previous ad for the week may already be going, I may not have to run an ad on that. But if that previous ad for the previous week that we're, we're in, if that ad is not performing, I'm going to have to drop this new video, right? So you want to, you want to keep, because the, the, the cool, the, the cool thing about, about a local business owner is that what you're doing, all you're doing with these ads, it's like having a magnifying glass. You ever grab a magnifying glass and, and, and put it outside and let the sun beam through a magnifying glass. You ever do that before? Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. And it just freaking burns a leaf or you ever burn mm -hmm. an ant or whatever, when you were a kid, like I used to play yeah. around with magnifying glasses and burn shit, right? Because the sun would just beam through and it will hit a point on the ground. Like I'll burn a freaking bug or something, right? Like that's how this is when you're targeting local, you're not a nationwide brand. You're targeting a very local area. So mm -hmm. it, it doesn't take much advertising to tell you the truth. It takes a few videos. Like it takes a few, three, four, five, six, maybe seven videos before that whole entire town is going to know who the hell you are. Okay. That's how powerful this is, man. Like this is a mini commercial. Yeah. That's yeah. how powerful this is. But again, where everyone shoots their, their self in the foot is the fact that they put out one or two ads. They don't see an ROI and they just completely don't put out another one. You know, like, like yeah. everyone's looking for instant gratification over here. And, and it's, that's just not the case. So, so you want to be consistent. Number two, the way you're approaching it is the best where you're actually capturing leads by giving someone a free PDF, giving them a, 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 a free guide, a seller guide, a, a free, you know, tip sheet on, on, on selling, you know, which, which is what you have. You have that PDF, right? Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah. So that right there, that allows you to capture leads. Now, what you want to have on the back end is that email automation, like that, those emails that are going out. So what you want to start doing, go to Kartra real quick and let's go into your, into your email automation. Let's go to your sequences, my communications to the left, and then just click on sequences. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Let's, um, this is something, this is a, a, a breathing, living, freaking, organism over here like hit the edit these emails were again this is this is number two where most people would drop the ball and simply shoot themselves in the foot is they'll come over here and set up five emails they'll come over here and set up seven emails it's like dude that's okay for now to get the ball rolling but this is breathing this is alive this is a living organism over here like you want to keep adding emails to this to this sequence like you want this, this email thing to go down forever. Like you want, I mean, now you want to be careful on the type of content that you're actually writing in the email, because if you're on email number 27, for example, and now all of a sudden we're at the end of 2021, but you're talking about some stuff that happened in January, right? It needs to be run down, redone. It, it would need it not. Well, yeah, uh, yeah, it would sure it would for sure need to be redone, but you don't want to, you don't want, you don't even want to have that intention in the, in the, in the first place, you want to write these emails evergreen. You want to write these emails where, where, where it's not date sensitive. It's not time oh, yeah. sensitive. It's not based on today's current events. It's, mm -hmm. it's evergreen. It's, it's something talking, it's, you're, it's general. It's, it's something that will, you know, can it, work for years. Read. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. That's the type of content you want in these emails. And again, the whole objective with these emails is to get people to schedule a call. So, so as you write out these emails, you want to use that that PDF. What's the title of your PDF? Uh, seven tips to sell your home without a real estate agent. I love it. I love it. I love it. So in these emails, man, just keep breaking down that PDF. Keep keep breaking down the seven tips. Maybe you have seven emails right here that are all ready to go out, and it's just text based. Maybe mm -hmm. from maybe from email number eight to number fourteen, or from eight to number fifteen. Maybe on those emails. You simply start all over and you go back because on these first seven emails, what you should be doing is referencing the PDF. Yeah. That's what yeah. I'd be doing. 
right? So, so immediately real estate ebook as promised that email, that first email goes out immediately, but tomorrow that step one breakdown that should be talking about page one or page two of that PDF or tip one, tip one, you got seven tips. Okay, cool. Step one, there's tip one, break it down. Right. And let's say, for example, that's text, text based. You're just, you're, 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 you're basically spinning that tip because you wrote it one way in the PDF, for example, in the email, simply write it a different way. You know, say, hey, John, just wanted to follow up. Hey, man, remember on page one when I was talking about tip number one, you know, blah, blah, blah. Hey, this is what I thought about it. Or this, this is, this is also what I wanted to mention about it. And it's not a story. You're not writing a story email. You're just writing maybe a paragraph maybe a few sentences, you know, just, just to bring my attention back to that seller guide or to that PDF. And then, and then also just to, just to get me to keep, continue to think of you. That's what yeah. that email is. is it, the email is designed to nurture that lead, to get that person to continue to think of you or to at least have you top of mind. And so if I can continue to bring relevant information via email automation, based on what you downloaded, based on what you were interested in, that, that makes sense. And so let's say, for example, these first few emails are all text-based. And let's say you're, you're, you're breaking down the seven tips on these first seven emails. On eight to 15, you can maybe start back at the, at the beginning of the PDF. And now Ethan's on video. Now email number eight. Hey, John, just wanted to follow up. Hey, I just made a new video and you're going to actually really like this video. In this video, I'm actually talking about tip one and what I really think about it. Click here to watch now. So now all I'm doing is I'm going to, I'm going to start all over. I'm going to talk about that PDF again. I'm going to talk about tip one, but now you're going to see my ugly mug. Now I'm going to be on video. Right. So, so okay. that the simplicity of that, I could put together seven tips. Okay, cool. I could put together 14 emails based on just that alone. First seven text-based eight to 14 video based talking about the same seven tips. And, and I can have those 14 emails go out every other day. So they're not going out every day. They're going out every other day. Mm-hmm. So that's like for the next 30 days, that yeah, person that is going to, is going to get nurtured. Right. Mm-hmm. And so, and in that, in each email, not on the first one, not on the one immediately, maybe do it on email number two or three and on. That's when you're starting to ask for the appointment. The first email, Hey man, here's your ebook as promised. Thank you so much for downloading it. Hey, and by the right. way, check for my emails that I got coming up because I'm going to break, I'm going to be breaking these seven tips down for you and you're not going to want to miss it. So make sure you open every email. I'm excited to be connected with you again. Thank you so much for downloading my ebook. Talk to you soon. Right. That's the first email. And then after that, I'm again, I'm going to just break down each tip in, in, in a very, just, just very, very, very. And, and this is your personality. Don't try to make it sound like anyone else. This is Ethan. This is you. This is your college freaking level personality. Like, like let the real you shine, right? Don't try to be someone else. Don't try to be too mm-hmm. perfect at all. Um, because again, this is where we're nurturing that lead. And this is where we're going to get them to schedule a call. So, so in each email from email number two and on your link to your calendar is in there. And that link, it's not in the PS. It's not, you know, in my email signature. No, it's a real call to action in the damn email in the middle of that demo. Hey, John. And by the way, man, if you'd like to jump on a call, I'd love to talk to you. You know, my schedule is pretty free this week. I'll be in class this hour and this hour. Like actually talk to me like I'm a friend. Talk to me like you're emailing a buddy. Like that's how you want to make these emails sound like you're emailing your buddy. You know, Mm, Um, um, because that's what dumbs it down. And that's what makes people be like, okay, this guy sounds like a normal person. Like, let me, let me kind of see if he can help me. Right. So, so in there, even in the videos, like, how do you do that in the videos? Yeah. in the videos too, man, in the videos, I, if I were you, I would go out, go down to, to your local, like print shop or, or Staples or office Depot or office max or whatever, whatever you guys got out there, or maybe on campus, if you can get on campus or whatever, I, if I were you, I would go print a copy, a colored copy of that PDF. And I would use it as a prop in my videos. And, and, and it could, it could, oh, I, okay. I could be holding it as I'm doing a Facebook video ad and also as I'm doing my videos via email. So, so okay. as I get to email number eight, for example, again, it's all text based. And all you have is you either have a button that says click here to watch my recent video, or that can simply be hyperlinked. And it's, and it, and it's hyperlinked or the button is hyperlinked. And once I click on it, you're taking me to another page, a Karcher page, where it's simply a video 
Watch, let me share my screen. Let me show you how simple this is. Let me share, mm -hmm. let me share my screen. It's a simple um, um, video on a, on a simple page and all there is is one call to action button for my calendar. But in that video, I could be using that, that, that PDF as a prop. Now this is the email video. This is the email video. I could, Sorry, I, could I don't see the see your screen. So I don't know if it should be up or not. No, no, I'm actually going to share it right now. Let me just log oh, okay. in real quick. So, but but I could be using it as an actual um, um, like prop. And again, whether that's whether that's a video ad or whether that's the you know email in my the video in my email. But as they as they um, watch, I'll show you this one, this one right here, simple one right here. As, as they see that email, they read that email, they click to watch my video and they're going to a simple page like this. And, and, and there's a lot of reasons why I'm taking them to one single page like this. So for example, simple video, one, bu one button, which takes you straight to my calendar. Yeah. So in that video, all I'm saying, man, is, hey, and by the way, guys, if you'd like to jump on a call where I can give you all my tips and tricks, you know, click the button below. It'll take you straight to my calendar and you can schedule your best time. And by the way, don't forget to check tomorrow's email because tomorrow's email, I'm going to be bringing you tip number three and you don't want to miss out. See you guys there. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And then, and then, and then maybe some testimonials and down here, like these are, these are actually all my real clients. These are real reviews on my business page, but in the beginning, you probably won't have this right away. So, yeah, I mean, you can always, I mean, shit, man, you can always make some up. No one's freaking, no one's, no one cares. No one's checking. I mean, at all, like get some random pictures and, and write some shit up, come over here, copy these ones if you want and, and, and call it a day, you know, and, and, and on this and, and all this is man, all this is click here to schedule call. All this is, is a page that I simply cloned over and over and over. So, so I'll put this single page in all of my emails and all I'll do is I'll just hit clone and create another one, create another one, create another one, create another one, create another one. These are all emails, bro. These are all emails that, that go out. They're text. You click on it, takes you to a page and, and there's me on video. And so the, 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 the game changing advantages of, of, of this is the fact here's here, here are a few, a few reasons why I'm bringing them here. Number one, you can tell right here, I'm Facebook pixeling them. So I'm Facebook pixeling you, I'm putting you in a custom audience and that's reason number one, right? That's reason number one. Mm -hmm. Reason number two, you're watching my video. So now I have all your attention on this one video right here. And, and um, it's not like I'm taking you to a YouTube channel or anything like that. I'm taking you straight to one video where I got your attention on this one video. And then number three, there's my call to action button. I'm getting you to schedule a call. That's it. Like that's it. So, so this is this is this is what you want to be doing in your emails. Like, if I saw you on video and you were holding that PDF in your hand, and I downloaded that PDF three days ago, and now I'm seeing you on video, I'm telling you, man, that's what separates the the winners from the losers. Like that that that's the whole back end you know, is, is, is capturing the lead, getting the PDF and then getting people to schedule an appointment because on the back end through email automation, because the fact is, is that not all and not even a high percentage are going to, are going to, are going to schedule a call on that thank you page. Not right now, not anytime soon, because again, you're going to be running ads for the first time. People don't know yeah. you yet. So yeah. they don't know you yet. So I'm not going to just schedule a call right away with someone I don't know. Like that's why retargeting, that's why creating audiences of people who are watching your videos, retargeting people who are landing on your landing page, but not opting in retargeting them and showing them more ads and more ads and more ads. Once you keep putting yourself out there and showing people more ads, like that could be your Facebook ad strategy right there over the next seven videos. All you're doing is talking about each tip. That's what you, that's, that, that's the strategy for you. That, in fact, I'm giving you that strategy right now. That's the strategy. So the first video that you're going to put out, the next video that you're going to put out, let me go back to your Facebook page. So go ahead and share your screen. Mm -hmm. we'll do right the now. very next video that you're going to put out, you're going to upload it to this business page, go to the Facebook, mm -hmm. to go to the business page. You're going to upload it to this business page and then we're going to run the ad. But here's video number one. Video number one is about tip number one. 
So all you're going to do is give me a little two minutes on, on, on tip number one, or maybe one minute. It, it, it should be a minimum of 60 seconds, minimum 60 seconds, minimum. And this is for the actual Facebook ad, not for the, the actual email. Facebook, Facebook ad. Okay. Now, now here, here's how it goes. We have seven tips. So there's seven videos in each video. You're dropping your two cents on to, on that one specific tip. And you're saying, Hey, so if I'm coming on and I'm saying, Hey guys, this is Ethan. I'm a real estate investor out here in Auburn. And, and, and let me tell you why I'm so excited and why it's such a great time to be doing real estate and, and be in the market. I put together this PDF. In this PDF, I cover the seven tips to really help you sell without a real estate agent. What I wanted to do, to do, to, to do today, because today was actually my first video of, of me putting out this video series, which you guys are going to enjoy. Trust me, you're going to absolutely enjoy it. But what I want to talk about in today's video is tip number one. And why tip number one is, is overlooked, why it's so important, and what it could really mean to homeowners that are looking to sell or for those that need cash quick. Let me kind of break down tip number one. And, and, and also, you guys, tip number one, I'm getting it from this PDF, and I'm holding up the PDF. It's this PDF you okay. guys that I put together. And again, you guys are going to want a copy, but let me tell you what tip one is. And I can go on for at least 45 seconds. Just me talking all that shit right now took about 25 seconds, mm -hmm. right? Like just, just me introducing and prepping the damn video and telling people what to expect, that, that already took damn near half a minute. So if I, if I can come on and just introduce myself, prep them for what I'm getting ready to go over, let them know why it's so important and why, you know, why, why I call it tip one, that alone takes, a, takes, some, takes some time. And then I go into the actual tip and maybe I'm reading it from the PDF. Maybe I have the PDF up in my hand and I'm showing it in video and I'm saying, hey guys, and by the way, this is on page two, by the way, let me read this to you and let me, let me tell you what I put together here. Total simple, bro, like so simple, it's, it's elementary. And, 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 and the magic is the fact that people become indoctrinated because they keep seeing you. We're gonna do tip one, yeah. tip two, it's a video series. So, so as we continue to show people and retarget them, they start to feel like they know you. Like that, that's, the, that's the key of video. And so at the end, here's the call to action at the end. Again, whether it's a one minute video, whether it's a two minute video, whatever. At the end of that video, there's the call to action. Hey guys, and by the way, today I just talked about tip number three, but I'm telling you, these seven tips, you're not gonna wanna miss it. So what I put together is a free PDF that you guys can actually download right now. So if you click learn more, it'll take you straight to my webpage where you can download your free copy. See you guys there. So okay, so I should never be talking about a call to action to actually try and sign up for my calendar page. No, no. It's all about giving up that PDF. It's all about okay. highlighting the PDF. That is the bait. We're fishermen, and mm -hmm. that's our bait. My bait is that PDF. Once you get to my page and enter my name and email, then the magic happens. Then I'm going to take you to that thank you page. And on that thank you page, I'm going to freaking wow you even more with a video on that thank you page, introducing myself, saying thank you, telling you to check your email, and then telling you to schedule a call. Okay. It's after the fact. It's after they entered your world. And, and again, in the beginning, the first few ads, majority of them are not going to schedule a call on that thank you page. But some will. Some will for sure. Some will for sure. Some will for sure. But for the ones that don't, let's call it 8 out of 10. Eight out of 10 that don't, that's why that email series is so important. Okay. You know, that email okay. series, because yeah. that's your second chance to get them to schedule a call. So if I was to uh, make this video, this one to two minute video tomorrow, we could actually run an ad Monday? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Okay. What you're, you're going to do is you're going to upload it to the business page, mm -hmm. write, write out the text, maybe, maybe even in the text, right? Click learn more to download your free PDF. You could write that in the text as well. Um, don't put the link in the text. The link is going to go in the actual button when we set up the ad. So but yeah. you could just say, you could just type, click, learn more, you know, something like that. Click, learn more to download your PDF. But yeah, we could start, and we can start doing the that. title of the, of the ad. What's that? For click, uh, what am I writing? in that text box for, for what text box? Is it for the ad, like on the top of the headline? Yeah, Click. yeah, scroll down, just like you would post anything. Like, like just like you did with this video, you wrote the text. So mm -hmm. so that text, you know, and, and, and what you're, what you're right doing here. That, Yeah, so, so what oh, okay. you're doing in that text is you're actually calling out your ideal client. 
you ca- you're calling them out. Attention Auburn homeowners. Yeah. Attention, attention Auburn homeowners who are looking to sell fast for cash and don't want to have to go through a real estate agent to pay them huge commissions. Let me show you what I got for you. Something like that. You know what I mean? Like just catch mm-hmm. the, the whole, the whole thing about, about ad copy is you have to make me stop. You have to stop my scroll. So you want to say something out of the ordinary attention, Auburn homeowners, attention, those who are looking to sell their home, like actually call me out. Right. Like, don't just, don't, don't just say, um, like, it, like, for example, Actually, see right there, that's perfect. I'm looking for potential sellers who may be in need of cash, of a cash buyer, or simply need to sell fast. That's exactly, so what you put down is who you attract. Yeah. Right, exactly who the hell you're looking for, you know? And, and then at the end, at the end, so right after service, service in any regard, after that, the next sentence down, I would maybe hit enter and maybe go down to the next one. Click learn more to download your free PDF or, or click learn more to download the top seven tips on, you know, that could be like written in the text, but then also watch, go to the homepage, go to your, or go to your newsfeed. It can also be written. Actually, you know what? Let me show you here. 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 And then I'll show you the newsfeed. Click on the three dots right there. No, no, no. Go back to yours. Go back to that oh, video. Oh, sorry, I thought you wanted to show. No, it's all good. It's all good. To share. Go back to the video. Click on the three dots. Edit. Mm-hmm. Click on edit. Uh, right here. Yeah, the three dots. Yeah, edit. Edit post. So when you upload this video, you have the text and then you have the title. Okay, you have the text and then you have the title. In the title, you can also put it. It has to be short and sweet in the title, and I'll show you why. But the title could be something like, like right here, watch, you have the title and then you have, you have the, the text. So perfect. Just like that quick and dirty rehab cost estimator. Perfect. So that right there is perfect. And then, and then in the text, you want to write out, you know, exactly who you're looking for and, 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 the, and, 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 and how you want to help, you know, that's the text, that's the copy, mm-hmm. that's the ad copy. But what I wanted to show you was the fact that that title X out of this that title is what they end up seeing when the ad is running. It's what they end up seeing below the video. So go to the newsfeed. So it's not, it's actually not on the title. You know, the title is that text right there. Go to your newsfeed, hit that home button on the top. So let's scroll through here and let's just see a sponsored ad. Let's look for an actual right here. Perfect. There's your title. So go back up right here. There's the title. Get 10% off your first purchase. Use code SOUL10. That's the title. So you have the text, tired of dirty sneakers, try our solution now. And then you have the title. So that title goes in that, in that bottom section below the video. So that's, okay. the, that's the amount of real estate you have. So you can't write too, too much. But mm-hmm. down there is, so, so put it this way. You don't have to put click learn more in the text. You could put it down at the bottom. So they put get 10% off your first purchase, use code. You could put click learn more to download your free seven tip guide or whatever, your free freaking PDF or whatever. That's where you can put it. And that's about as much real estate as you're getting. So they wrote pretty much as much as you want to write. And so then, so if I was to write something like download your free PDF to sell your home fast, that uh, might be too long. Huh? That might be too long. And and all it's going to do is cut out. All it's going to do is cut out. That's all it's going to do. It's going to, it's going to be dot, dot, dot. So, so you want to be able to try to fit everything in to that title. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay, but that should be going into my, my headline right here. No, that's your title. That's oh, yeah. Title. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. That's your title. So you have the title, which is down there below the video. And then you have the text mm-hmm. above. Yeah. Okay. So, so, put, so, so put the download your free PDF as a part of the text up top here. Or I would put it then, probably, I put in the title, I put it down low, get 10% off. I put okay. click, click, learn more to download your free PDF or your free, you know, seven tip, seven guides or whatever, okay. seven tips so, or whatever. So, um, you want to upload the video to your business page. You want to write out the text. You want to put the title and then let's run the ad. So you always want to okay. do that first. You always want to upload the video, write out the text, make sure there's no misspelled words, make sure there's mm-hmm. commas, make sure there's periods, make sure everything is, 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 is perfect. Because when we go into the ads manager and go and run the ad, you can no longer change anything. 
Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, because once the ad, once we're even, once once we're even, once we actually just simply start the process of setting it up, you can no longer edit the post. So why? Why is that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I actually don't know why. But um, but that's just the way it is. That's why you you want to upload the post, upload the the video, write out the text, the title, make sure everything is freaking triple check it and make sure there's no misspelled words because yeah for whatever reason you, you you won't be able to change it once you um now you could totally cancel out the ad like don't or, or not even proceed and go through the, the the setup process and then and then now the post is free and now i can go in and edit it but but i don't want to have to do yeah. that like if we're already halfway into setting yeah. up the ad you don't want to have to back out just because we missed a period you know what i mean so mm -hmm. always try to For sure. quadruple check the 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 the, the text and the title, make sure everything is perfect, and then and then we go and run the ad. But but again, the whole per, the whole point of all this was to was to stay consistent, man. Stay consistent with a new. And what do you think video. the budget should be for each ad? What we're gonna do is we're we're actually gonna we're actually gonna be running, we're actually gonna be running, and it's only in the very beginning. It's only in the first few days where where we're running twenty dollars a day, and the twenty dollars per day is broken up into four different interest targeting groups. So oh, it's that's five bucks. Yeah, it's five bucks per target. And we're going to run four at a time. But we're only going to run four for the first four days. Yeah. After, that, after that, you keep going with the one that does the best. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So, and, 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 and that could be at five bucks a day, you know, that, that one out of four that actually is performing that could be at five bucks a day. And then, mm -hmm. and then what you do after that is you end up just duplicating that and doing it again. So, but we will we'll do, so we'll, should we just run each? So are we running each target for, so we say five bucks for them four days. And then after we do that, we just make a completely new ad. Yeah. We'll have the one out of four. That's actually that's actually um, um, performing, and then what we'll do is we'll duplicate that one. We'll mm -hmm. duplicate that one, and then we'll go do it again. So that that's when we start to scale it and take that five dollars up, rather than taking the rather rather than going into that actual ad and 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 moving the budget, because if we're at if if we're at five bucks a day and and one out of four ends up becoming the winner, what most would try to do is just simply increase the budget. Right, mm -hmm. because that's the one that's winning. So let me just increase the budget and get even more leads. But what you want to do is you want to just simply duplicate the campaign, which I'll teach you how to do it once once we get that. I don't even, I don't even want to confuse you with that. But we'll 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 cross that bridge when we get there. But so let's how find many that one out of should four. we be running all four of them before we decide which one does the best or not? Minimum minimum four days. Minimum four days. Okay. Yeah, minimum four days. So. You may so up front, and that's why in the very beginning, that, that's what you always want to what you need to understand as well. And what you know everyone wants to understand is the fact that in the beginning, that's when your cost is higher. In the beginning, yeah. when you start these ads for the first time, before you even have an audience, before that pixel even has any data, like that's when you're spending up front. You you have to put out some money up front to get some data in to find what what audience is working and 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 where we're gonna scale, you know. Um and when we do find the best ad, uh, what should be the budget for that one specific ad that we do? What, fifteen, ten dollars a day? I mean, it could be, it could be, it could be, it could be ten bucks a day. It could be fifteen bucks a day. It could be twenty bucks a day. Um, it could be fifty bucks a day. It, it just, it's all going to depend. It's all going to depend on 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 how we roll out. It's all going to, it's all going to depend on the uh, the very beginning. Like first five yeah. bucks a day. First five bucks a day. And then after that, we may want to jump to 10 bucks a day, you know, as leads come in, mm -hmm. you know, but, but even, even, even if you're running 20 bucks a day and, and you were getting a shitload of leads, man, one deal, bro, it's one deal in your business. It's one deal that would even cover a $50 per day type of campaign. Now, again, that's if you're running it for 30 days out of the month, which you're, which you're not. You're not even going to run 20 bucks a day for 30 days. But even if you ran 20 bucks a day for 30 days, that's 600 bucks. Now, looking at everything on from you know here right now, like, yeah, we, you may not even have that budget right now. But eventually yeah. down the line, once you close your first deal, for example, it's like, shit, mm -hmm. you're going to be at 20 bucks a day, no problem. No, one yeah, deal. yeah, yeah, one deal, one uh, yeah. deal. It would just be testing out, like making sure that this is something that, like, 
these ads are specifically working, that I'm making, you know, I'm doing the ads correctly before it is I would want to increase a budget to something like that. But yeah, you, you have a good, you have a good offer. You know, that's how I kind of look at it. You have a good offer. Um, seven tips. What was it again? The title seven tips on seven tips to sell your house without a real estate agent. It's like, dude, that's a freaking awesome title, bro. Like that's yeah. an awesome title. Like that's an uh, awesome yeah. title. Like, I really, yeah, I really like that, that title. Should I, yeah, so, yeah. I mean, if I'm doing, yeah, I guess you're right. I need to have a PDF of it so that people can see, like, the cover and how it looks like. And I guess I should show it, like, should I, that be, like, the first thing it is that I'm holding up to? It, it, it could be. Yeah, man, that's Before what I'm saying. Even, like, start the video just so that they can see what it looks like and it's how colorful it is or something like you that. You could just have it in your hand, you know, as, as yeah. you're just talking and – and, 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 and you're just kind of moving around and, and you got it in your hand, you don't have to show it to the camera. Like the fact that you have it in your hand and you're referencing it, that's enough. And the fact that it's color, so I can actually see, mm-hmm. you know, the fact that that's a, that looks like a damn book in your hand. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you don't need to necessarily put it in my face, but you want to, yeah, you want to get it color copied and you want to just have it in your hand as you're talking. Why not? Like that could be really good, you know? And, 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 and also like, um, What's really good for video as well is when you're moving, is when you're outdoor, when when there's movement, you know, like unlike my videos with, with YouTube, my videos on YouTube are still shots. It's me on my freaking desk and that's it, right? Like those are not necessarily the highest engagement type of videos. The highest engagement are videos that are moving, where the background is moving. The person's in a car and they're driving, or they're walk, or a person's walking down the street and they're selfie style talking into their camera and doing a damn video, and and they're walking through a neighborhood, or they're walking through a park, or they're walking through a beach, or they're walking through the freaking desert, whatever. Like the fact that there's movement, that's what makes people stop as well. Stop okay, so it'd probably be best to like just shoot it while like walking around doing yeah, something man. in the middle of like downtown or something like yeah, that. Yeah, dude, good good lighting, good lighting mm-hmm. or even in in a neighborhood. What what you want to start doing, maybe using not only the PDF as your prop, but actually using houses as your prop. Mm-hmm. And, and and start giving advice on freaking the house that you're looking at right in front of you which happens to be your neighbor and no one even knows it's your neighbor, but it's easy for you to do a video on your freaking neighbor's house and no one even cares yeah. and no one even knows and your neighbor's not even home. So no one even cares. And you're just doing a simple educational based video on what you would probably do to that property if you were to sell it or the type of advice you'd maybe give that homeowner, if any advice at all. You okay. know what I mean? Like, like yeah, little yeah. things like that, like education based, bro, education based one minute, two minute education based video with a hard call to action to click learn more and download my free pdf you know and 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 um i just think i i think that's a great offer bro i think you i think you're gonna do good i really really do that's a that's a catchy title if i was a homeowner and i was looking to sell why wouldn't i want to learn how to do it without a freaking agent yeah yeah you know what i mean shit it's like mm-hmm. that kind of no, yeah, like no brainer like sense. i think it sounds really great i i really Making like sure it the video itself looks good and that no no that's the thing you don't need you don't need it to look perfect but what you do want is you want that video to be horizontal so hold the mm-hmm. phone wide screen right left to right horizontal that's for facebook that's for youtube instagram is vertical so so, so what if it was can i guess cameras still do video right so what what or, ca- cameras I'm trying to think. My friend is a photographer. I guess I can. Um, he, I can help him to help me with the video. Bro, you have an iPhone. Helps. You have an iPhone. Yeah. That's all you okay. need. Your iPhone, bro. Your your iPhone's freaking more than perfect. You do a selfie style video walking down the neighborhood, talking about freaking seller tips. Mm-hmm. Like shit. That's all you need, bro. You don't need no one's help at all. Okay. You know. Okay. Like yeah. yeah. Um. Keep it simple. Have fun. This is stuff you do. This is you. You know, you're the professional. And that's that's another thing. And I'll leave you with this in closing. You have to understand, and this is a this is a big tip for anyone that's watching, because most of us fear the camera. Most of us are shy. Most of us don't want to put our face out there. But 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 at the same time, we're building a business. We're now in this social media era where yeah, transparency exactly. and personal branding matters. And and people relate to people we 
gravitate to people. That's why social media is what it is. It is social media. It's people to people. People buy from people. We don't buy from brands. We buy from people. And that's exactly why every major brand has some character to the brand. Every brand. McDonald's had Ronald McDonald. Freaking yeah. Subway had that freaking fat guy, Jared, or whatever. Freaking <laughs> Geico yeah. has a damn lizard or whatever. The Geico lizard or whatever. There's all these brands have some type of face. Nike had freaking Jordan, right? Yeah. Like all these brands have a face because that's what sells it is people to people. So with that being said, you want to, you have to understand that people are going to love you no matter what they really are. As long as you're educating them on a, on a topic that they, that they could be interested in, which this topic, your topic, everyone's interested in real estate, a homeowner, someone looking to buy real estate investor, whatever. Real estate is a hot topic. That's making money. Everyone is, 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 is everyone would want to know something about real estate, but here's what I want you to understand. Here's my point is that because all of a sudden you become the video creator, right? All of a sudden you're no longer the consumer of the video. You're actually the creator of the video, which puts you in a different position. And it, and it puts you on a pedestal, so to speak. It, it gives you the leverage where you are now the authority. So because I'm seeing this guy on video, because he's actually running an ad, automatically, psychologically, I put you on a pedestal. So what you start talking about, I actually, if I'm interested, I actually believe you because mm -hmm. you're the professional. I'm not the real estate investor. I'm not even a real estate agent. I'm just a homeowner. I work at Home Depot. Yeah. So, so what this guy is telling me I would think it's true. Now, mm -hmm. now, obviously, people are scammers out there, right? I mean, people obviously lie online all damn day, but we're not yeah. that person. We're not that person. We're building a legitimate business. So the knowledge that Ethan has is knowledge that people are willing to pay for. It's knowledge that people are thirsty for. It's knowledge that people don't have. So as we put ourselves out and we come onto the, into the marketplace and we want to educate the consumer on what we're fired up about, Never be scared, never be hesitant, never be shy, because the information that you start talking about, people are automatically going to look at you as you're the authority. Because you're the one showing up in the newsfeed, not them. You're the one with the free PDF, not them. You're the one with a professional website. For all I know, you probably hired a freaking web developer to design that website for you. I don't know. I work at Home Depot. Yeah. So everything that you have going for you already puts you in a higher level of position where the audience gravitates to. And they automatically look at you as you're the teacher and they're the student because that's exactly what it is. So, so, so yeah, if you, you know something they don't. You know something they don't. So if you can have that confidence, if you can have that swag, if you can have that level of, of security, you'll be able to dump out content as if it was no thing. And that's what this is all about, bro. The person with the most content wins. That's it. Yeah. No, yeah. So, no, I definitely think that's probably true. Yeah. So shit these videos out like they're going out of style, man. Make a new video every seven days. Make a video every freaking day. Get mm -hmm. fired up and, and, and talk about this industry like you freaking own it. And I'm telling you, man, you're, you're not coming on pitching people. You're coming on giving them education. You're coming on giving them a free PDF. We're giving, 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 giving. So, so no one's going to be, no one's going to, no one's going to not like that. Mm -hmm. You know, it's yeah. different when Ethan's over here pitching his shit all day. And, and now you're doing it on, on your personal Facebook page and your friends are starting to get irritated because all Ethan wants to do is sell his house, sell the house for me. Like that's freaking annoying. Right. Yeah. But when it comes to advertising and, and, and it comes from a strictly humble educational type of perspective where I'm actually giving you information. I'm giving you something to download for free, tangible, something you can print out and go sit at home with your wife. Like that is different. That's a different approach. Mm -hmm. And then again, once you come into my world, then I might let the pit bull in me come out because now I need, I need to get your ass on the line. Now it's yeah. all about scheduling an appointment, but that's after the fact, that's not what I'm showing. I'm not showing my poker, my poker freaking card now. Right. I'm, I'm playing poker. So mm -hmm. I'm not showing you my deck, right? My hand, my hand right now. I'll show you my hand, you know, later, like, and, and maybe I'll never show you my hand, but at the same time, it's all about having that, 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 that authority figure up front and just getting people into your world. You're just bringing people into your world, man. 
You're bringing people into your world for the lowest cost possible because we're giving them something for free. And, and, and that's how we're capturing a lead. You know, so, so what you want to do over here is work on that next video, work on that next video and, and, and plan on a series of seven videos talking about each tip. Those are your next seven video ads. Okay. Okay. So okay. If, I, if I've got this correctly, I just want to make sure that I need to start like getting into the rhythm of having a video that could be turned into a Facebook ad every week, as well as adding a new email onto the sequence each week. Yes, man. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. And, and, and preferably go to Karcher real quick. Mm -hmm. So let's look at my pages. Let's get out of here real quick. Hit done and exit. So click on my pages to the left. And so here's what you want to do really quick. Um, my pages, let's see, let's grab, actually, okay, go to, go to, um, in fact, to tell you the truth, the thank you page, the thank you page could be the same mm -hmm. template that you use in your emails. Clone that one. Clone oh, that one. Okay. You know, clone that one, and clone, clone that one and call that. Now it's not going to be email number one, but I mean, just put email number one. You know, put email number one. That's the name, the page name, email number one. It could be email number eight, but but you you could always change it later. You know, email number one, and that's the page. Watch. In fact, let's go into it. Let's go into. It. I'm going to show you what to change. So email number one. Let me let me have you just clean it up really really quick. And this is the one page that you'll simply put a different video on per email. Make sense. So if I go in and change the formatting for the other sequences, the other emails that no. I've made already, or just no, how no, they are. Le leave them, leave them. Just add to. Add, let's make this email number nine or wherever the hell you're at. You know, this could be added to the bottom. You know, now now mm. we're bringing out video. So after that person already goes through a week of our emails of text base, now we start showing our face. You know. Mm -hmm. So okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one page, when, when I write out that email, hey, John, click here to watch my newest video. In this video, I'm talking about tip number one. Don't miss out. Click here to watch now, right? And then it takes them straight to this page where all we're going to do okay. is, is have okay. you know our call to action button on it and getting them to schedule a call. And, and you're going to have a quick one-minute video on that talking about, talking about the tip. And then, and then the call to action in this video is to, is to get them to schedule a call. So the call to action in the Facebook ad was, get them to, was to get them to click learn more to download your PDF. Over here, the call to action in this video is to get them to click the link below to schedule a call. That simple. You know, it's that simple. So scroll down. Let's see if we need to get rid of anything over here to, to clean it up at all. Let's see. Scroll down. Okay, perfect. So okay, so, sorry, I, I just lost you there for a second. Okay, I'm back. So so you'll wanna you'll wanna link all those social media icons. You'll wanna put your company name mm -hmm. in that in that copyrights. Um, yeah, yeah, and you can keep it that simple. And then scroll up real quick. Or yeah, go ahead and write that out real quick. Here, yeah, I'll do that. Just... Sir, where where do you want me to scroll up to? So, so what you can do is is um. Take away, go ahead and X out three, two, one. Yeah, X out, okay. X out those, the, the whole thing. That's just the, the individual okay, the one. Thing. Yeah, maybe, mm -hmm. yeah, right there, right there. Perfect. X that out, X out that one. Perfect. Scroll up a little bit. X out. Okay, so now let's, um, let's go ahead and drop that. Let's see if you can, if you can drop that button. Let's see, scroll down. Mm-hmm. Go down to the button. Edit. Let's see. No, that button. Let's see. Hit the hit the pencil on the button. Mm -hmm. And then the margin. You'll see margin up here to the top left. Let's let's yes. move that margin to the very right. To the very very right, and then come down and click apply. Let's see if it moved it down. Perfect. 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 Okay. So now go to the left. Hit components to the left. Mm -hmm. This left to the, to the left oh, sorry, components, sorry, sorry. components, and then let's look for text. Click on text and drag that text box. Click on it. Mm -hmm. Drag this above the button. Wait for the orange down, 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 this down, one? down, 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 down. It, you can't go lower than than that. Okay, so drop it right there. Uh, yeah, no, it's not. It's not letting me. Okay, drop it right there. 
Okay, so now hover over the words, hover over that text box to yeah, mm -hmm. X out of that. Hit the pencil, hit the pencil to edit. Oh, oh okay. And then move the margin. Mm -hmm. And then now choose the margin to go to the right. Let's see, yeah. Let's see if that drops it enough. Perfect. 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 So there it is there, bro. Yeah, that button, you can always change the color or you can leave it the same. That button links mm -hmm. to your calendar. In that text, I'd probably make the font a little bigger. But in the text, I would okay. say something like, click the button below to schedule a free strategy call. Even though the button's already there, but in the text, you can write, you know, you Just can write whatever in the text. Mm -hmm. But this becomes your, and then and then what you want to change is the settings. Um, yeah, you can always change, click here to schedule, click the button click here is fine click here click here okay. to schedule click here to schedule your free strategy call click here to schedule your free strategy call click here to schedule your free strategy call and then um click on click on apply yeah click here to schedule your free your free strategy call and then click apply and then hit link right there at the top link mm -hmm. And then, and then make sure it's linked to your calendar, which it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. And then what you always want to do also is to the very left, the settings, change the page title. Because this page title, it's coming over. You cloned your thank you page. So mm -hmm. everything comes with it. So click on SEO parameters. And this right here, the page title. So you don't want the page title to say thank you for your interest. The page title should be should be whatever that video is on if that's on mm -hmm. tip number one put that right there tip number one or 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 i'd even put schedule your free strategy call you know that's okay. all i want them to see everywhere schedule your call schedule your free strategy call schedule free strategy call or something like that it has to be short and sweet because it's 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 the tab it's the title in the tab right mm -hmm. and that tab is only is only so long so big so schedule your free strategy call perfect perfect and then click apply and now that will be up in the tab. So now this single page, you can just clone, 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 and then start dropping this link in the emails. Each video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, man. And and it's that it's that basic. Link up everything well, at the bottom. Awesome. You know, and 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 then and then just mm -hmm. um, yeah, save it. You know, copyrights. You know, and you want to change that to Auburn Investors or whatever it is. Um, and, and mm -hmm. that's it, man. And, and just use that page over and over and over. That way everything's consistent. Okay. Same awesome. color of the of the brick wall, same color of the button, keep everything consistent. You know? Mm -hmm. um, so save progress, publish live, and then return to dashboard. So that was everything preparing for this campaign. And, 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 and I'm glad we covered that. So um, work on that video. I would make it on tip number one. Put the call to action at the end of the video to click learn more. It's always click learn more, right? Click learn more to download your free whatever, right? That's the call to action at the end of the video. See right there, that's fine. You know, still background, you're at your desk, nice background, that's fine. But but for Facebook, and, 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 and here's the deal, that's fine for email videos and for thank you page. That's the thank you page. Mm -hmm. So that's fine for that. For your Facebook video ads, we're now targeting people in the news feed. I need to stop your scroll. That's yeah. where the outdoor moving background, that's yeah. where those videos do good. That's where those okay. videos do good. Okay. So, but still, but be still just talking to yourself like on the computer for email. For email. email yep. Yep. Because now, now I'm, you, you already, you already have my lead. I'm already in your, in your, in your, in your, um, in your world. And now you're simply just educating me. You're educating me and, 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 and creating urgency on why I need to schedule a call with you. You know, mm -hmm. that's, that's the email videos. Yeah. Those are perfect for email videos. Um, okay. but yeah, if, if possible, plot your iPhone and, and just take a walk around the block, man, take a walk around the block and talk about tip number one, you know, um, and yeah. just and just keep it simple and try not to have too much background noise, right? Try not to be next to a freaking you know busy highway or anything like that, uh -huh. you know. But okay. but being like a, maybe a quiet neighborhood and and you're just walking through, taking a look at properties, you know, and and, awesome. and paint paint the picture of, of what you're doing. You know, maybe walk in the neighborhood, looking at different listings, 
giving giving advice to local neighbors. Hey guys, this is Ethan. Just want to drop a video. I'm actually leaving a friend's house right now. His mom is actually thinking about selling and I wanted to sit down with her and give her some advice. So let me kind of tell you what I told her. And in fact, it's tip number two in my PDF. Let me explain to you what I went over with her. Right? You can just okay. randomly okay. make up some shit, yeah, bro. Yeah. Like have fun with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know, so so That's those are your Facebook that, ads. Mm -hmm. So work on something and then yeah, man, on our next call, we'll go from beginning to end on running that that Facebook ad together. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And I'll make sure to go through the whole sequence again and just make sure there's no mistakes like that with the, the company and all the disclaimer agreements and stuff like that. Yeah. I'll make sure everything's good. Perfect. Sounds good, man. Sounds good.